Smart Grid as a new emerging technology is a power grid that enabled with control, sensing, computation, and communication. In such a complex environment, how to verify and validate new ideas is a key. So here are the solutions from us. Let's go! This is the release web page of Score Emulator. You can visit us using a URL down the screen. Now let's invoke the user interface of Score to show you how it works by example. You can see the real-time changes of all the power flows when the emulation starts. Each emulated node is actually a light-weighted virtual machine running Linux operating system. By double-clicking on the node, you will invoke the shell and check what processes are running inside the emulated node. Those executables can be directly ported to any Linux enabled devices with no or little migration efforts. By selecting the services, you can choose what process can be run inside each node during the emulation. Now, this is the test bed we have built for Smart Grid. All the black boxes are energy modules that can be used to emulate one entity inside Smart Grid. They are equipped with radio to communicate and wired together to emulate the real-time current flow. For example, this is a demander module, which can be programmed to emulate an appliance inside the house, and the number displayed at the real-time current consumption. This is a switch module, which can be used to change the power network topology in, in real time. The display are showing the connection status between any two ports, and any two ports can be connected or disconnected. The wind turbine used to generate energy, and the wind speed can be adjusted using a fan. Here is the solar panel to generate energy from a lamp. Inside each, each box, we have a TLSW mode connected with the energy board. More interestingly, we are trying to connect the Android phone to our energy modules. The Android phone will be connected to the TLSW mode inside the energy module to provide computation resources for the smart grid applications so that the whole testbed will be boosted into a much higher performance level. Since Android is a Linux-like environment, the program running inside our emulation platform can be directly ported to the Android phone-enabled testbed. So, by using a gateway like this, we can integrate the testbed with our emulation software to implement a hardware-in-the-loop emulation platform. The emulated node can interact with energy modules in real-time then.